My name is Olivia, and I'm here with my co-host, Rashmi. We're juniors from Farmington High School in Connecticut. Olivia and I have been learning about personal finance for about two years now. We both have taken courses in school on it and are working on spreading knowledge about personal finance in our community and beyond. So let's get right to it. Rashmi, what's the definition of personal finance? So according to Corporate Financial Institute, it defines personal finance as the process of planning and managing personal financial activities such as income generation, spending, saving, investing, and protection. Now, that's a lot of words. Can you break it down for us, Olivia? Sure. So personal finance is essentially all of the essential skills needed to manage where your money's going, whether it's through saving, investing, or ensuring the safety of your money by buying insurance. Thorough knowledge of personal finance stops you from being stuck in a job you don't like or having bills pile up without knowing how to start paying them off. Some people might think it's not relevant to them. You know, if you've managed to get this far in life without meticulously managing ev- where every penny goes, you might not want to start now. But you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Right. When the coronavirus pandemic spread, suddenly millions of families were out of jobs, low on income, and debt was starting to pile up fast. In February of 2020, 33% of all U.S. adults had been laid off with no prior warning. And 31% of all adults had to take a major cut in pay. But besides major world events, it's not like we'll know in advance to start saving for an emergency medical operation or know beforehand if the company we've been working under is going to go out of business. This can happen to us at any time, anywhere. So it's up to us to organize our finances now to be prepared for any unexpected financial burdens in the future. That might include budgeting, insurance, investments, and lots more. But we'll get deeper into those topics later. For now, you might be wondering, why is personal finance worth the time investment? One of the number one benefits is just simply knowing where your money is going and that it's not going to be compromised. When you start looking at your income more in detail, you begin to see your money can go a lot farther than you've ever imagined. But all you have to do is realize its potential. Once you do so, you can easily save money and stress less at the same time. You're able to improve your quality of life and finally do the things you always wanted to do, whether it be buying your dream house or car or just spending more money on your interests in general. The best part about personal finance is that there are absolutely no downsides. In fact, by not incorporating personal finance into your daily lives, you are only hurting yourself. Right. Americans reported losing an average of $1,389 in 2021 because of a lack of personal finance knowledge. These are the real-world consequences of poor financial literacy. On top of that, poor financial decisions lead to paying more expenses than you need to, missed investment opportunities, and even falling victim to financial scams. Financial scams. That sounds like something you only hear about in the news. But it's a lot more common than you think. Financial fraud cost consumers $8.8 billion last year. That's up 44% from 2021. These type of financial losses can have long-lasting implications, hindering individuals' ability to build wealth, plan for retirement, or weather unexpected financial crises. The most haunting financial struggle of all is debt, in particular credit card debt. According to key financial literacy statistics, Americans owe over $800 billion in credit card debt as of quarter one of 2022. Credit card debt can start out as only a few dollars, but its high interest rates lead to exponential growth in owed money. And suddenly, the 20 bucks you didn't pay back a few months ago are now worth $200. This extensive debt load can significantly impact your financial well-being, trapping you in a cycle of interest payments, making it difficult to achieve any sense of long-term financial stability. And financial insecurity often starts at an early age due to a lack of confidence. Right. 75% of the future of our country, American teens, lack confidence in their knowledge of personal finance. And this lack of personal knowledge finance can cause excessive student loan debt, mismanaging credit, or even failing to invest wisely. Additionally, people are starting to deal with financial stress from a younger age, taking a toll on their mental well-being. Financial stress can lead to anxiety, depression, and strained relationships, further affecting their quality of life. 
Such financial insecurity at an early age can set the stage for a lifetime of financial struggles. Unfortunately, poor personal financial skills can often perpetuate in families. If you've grown up with parents who struggle with managing finances, it's likely that you will also deal with that too. This can lead to a cycle of generational financial hardships, and in extreme cases, continuous poverty. And this is why we are here, to ensure the financial success of all our listeners. That's it for today. Next time, we'll see how we can shift our mindsets for success in personal finance. Cashing off, Roshni and Olivia. Olivia.